Hello everybody. Welcome to the expert talk series uh, of product management of ISBR Business School. We have an amazing guest today, Mr. Ashish Nair. He is a pass out of IIM Lucknow. He has worked in Infosys and Un Academy as a system engineer and category manager. And right now he's currently working as a product manager as a great learning. We welcome you sir. Thank you Shweta. Thank you so, for the sir, so, sir, to start with, uh, my first question was goes like this. Can you explain something uh, of what is product management and uh, what made you inclined towards into the product management? Okay, so uh, you might have heard of this term, uh, you know, in uh, media nowadays regularly. And, you know, one thing that we need to understand is uh, what is the product that we are referring to when we are talking about product management? So uh, we are talking about digital products here, right? Uh, so digital products includes apps, websites, desktop applications, many of these things. So product managers, uh, uh, they work um, building digital products. And if I would define product management, then I would say that this is an art of uh, delivering business impacts uh, by marshalling uh, the resources that you have within your team uh, to identify and solve uh, impactful business problems. So this is a this is not my definition. This is uh, uh, you know a definition that I had found on net, but something which uh, clearly defines the role of product manager. So if I if I break it down further, uh, the first task is to you know uh, deliver business impacts. So when I'm talking about business impacts, it includes, uh, it might include uh, generating revenue, it might include, you know, creating engagement, or retaining your users, uh, then marshalling the resources that you have within your team, right, it might be human resources, the skill set of your team, it might be the financial resources, if you have marketing budget, you have to use it. Uh, there, there could be many resources that that you have within your team, you have to identify that and use it judiciously. And uh, then the most important thing is that you have to identify and solve your users pain points without which you cannot be a good product manager. So this is this is the uh, prime uh, task of a product manager that is to identify and uh, solve a user's uh, pain point. So this is what is product management, in my opinion. Great, sir. Great. So, sir, uh, what do you think? Uh, what does success and a uh, failure look like in a product manager's life? Okay, I also forgot the second part of your question. What inclined me towards you know oh, joining yes. uh, stream? So I would take these two questions together then. Sure, uh, sir, sure. So I, I I come from a tech background. I was working as a, a in developer and systems engineer in Infosys and uh, by chance I got to work uh, on a few good products and uh, internally within Infosys I was kind of transitioning into a BA role, business analyst role, where I was taking the requirements from the uh, customers. So uh, that got me intrigued into you know the requirement analysis part and other things and uh, the way product management grew over years I also got interested. I saw a lot of good people joining in uh, and suddenly the boom of uh, applications app coming in. So that, you know, that intrigued me. I saw a lot of good apps um, coming in the market. I was personally using a lot of them, Flipkart, Amazon, and all of these things. And uh, I wanted to know how they were building these things. So, so. Um, I got into this field. I started studying this. So like, like you said, uh, I am not an MBA pass out from, uh, I am Lucknow. I did my executive program from there, um, which was more towards product management. So, uh, that's how I got into this field and, uh, you know, transitioned into product management. And if you talk about the successes and uh, failures of a product manager, I would say, uh, a product manager would see failure, uh, on a daily basis, right? Uh, whatever we plan uh, you know whatever planning we do for uh, launching our product uh, most of the times uh, it won't work as desired right we might want a developer to work on a particular uh, feature 
uh, and uh, we might have thought that the first order impact would be like this second order impact would be like this but as you develop you realize that things are not the way you have planned uh, but um, a great product manager is one who realizes these things um, and works on the uh, failure part uh, you know learns things quickly so a few few uh, failures that every product manager goes through uh, is you know uh, mostly product managers do not know how to say no right uh, we get a lot of uh, requirements from business stakeholders times from ideas within the company right and uh, everyone feels that their idea is the next big billion idea right and uh, it is not like that you have to really understand what your users want so you have to say no to a lot of people right next thing is about uh, delivering quality product while you are delivering a quality product there might be delays but if you are shipping a product late then it is equivalent to not shipping the product at all so these are a few things that uh, someone who is uh, new to the product management field might see and might you know come across but uh, if you learn from these mistakes then yeah definitely it it, it uh, works well for your future great sir great uh, so sir coming to the next um, how uh, how much a product managers are important for a company uh yeah so i mean you you know that this is one of the highest paying jobs nowadays uh, right in the tech field even even developers want to become product managers actually uh, it's not uh, it's, i i'm not saying that if you are a high paid employee that means that you are the most important employee in an organization uh, every employee is important if if you are working for sales if you are working for marketing if you are working for product if you are working for uh, business uh you are working for the tech side everyone is important in the company but uh, if, if i talk about company the importance of product manager in a company it varies but suppose if you are a product led company uh, the importance of product manager increases if you are a sales led company you might not be that important because your sales leaders are more important there they are driving um, the growth uh, but if you are, if you see the trend nowadays most of the companies uh, are product led companies they have a product and they want to sell it through uh, get the growth through the product itself it, they could have various various uh, tactics for it i mean it could be a freemium account it could be free trial uh, it would be anything right it could be ad based revenue uh, so uh, product managers that important because they do uh, needle moving right so so that uh, we want to grow x percent or we we are looking at x percent impact or we want to go from point a to point b within this particular span of time so if you are able to deliver that uh, you are an important person because uh, this is something that is uh, you know uh, coming from the Uh, senior senior leadership so you are kind of delivering what the company wants uh, but on top of that you are directly uh, delivering to your users who are the most important part of your product or business without users your product is nothing so uh, uh, you know you are giving value to your users if you are doing that then uh, your business is going to run and that's why a lot of importance is given to what uh, product managers do okay so as you explained about the product management so sir uh, if you could throw some light that what what are the skill sets that uh, somebody will have to get into the uh, product management or even thinking of getting into the product management uh so uh, you know product management as a field is not very well established at this point of time it is still evolving right uh, we do not uh, see a lot of courses targeted for product management so uh, as a field itself product management is evolving so skill sets are also evolving with time if you talk about a skill set of a coder uh, you should have excellent coding skills you should have good understanding of 
uh, system analysis, you know, algorithms and all of these things. Uh, if you talk about a skill set of a marketing person, you need to understand the market where well, you need to understand the users and uh, all those things, right? So uh, likewise for a product manager, uh, first, the prime uh, skill of a product manager is structured thinking, right? You should be able to think logically and in a structured manner because uh, you would be bombarded with ideas, thoughts, requirements. But if you can, uh, you know, run through all of these things and come up with a structured uh, answer, uh, you know, that is what is expected out of a product manager. First thing is that uh, you should be able to think logically. Uh, there are n number of ways you can acquire this skill. Uh, a lot of people uh, read business books. A lot of people uh, work on frameworks. There are a lot of frameworks that have, you know, that have been tried and tested in the market. You um, take out the best practices that uh, product managers have followed till now. So you can emulate those practices and then, you know, come to a logical conclusion, but uh, Problem solving is the key. So if you are a good problem solver, uh, you can be a good product manager. That is the first skill that you need to acquire. Um, second is uh, that you should have good communication skills because you would be daily communicating to a lot of stakeholders. It might be your users. It might be the other teams, developers, uh, marketing team, analytical team right uh, right. and uh, salesperson so you have to communicate and uh, one interesting uh, thing about a product manager is uh, no one reports to a product manager right product management a product manager is an ic role that is an individual contributor yes right so uh, you might have one or two reports uh, as an apm or a product analyst um, but again, the uh, a management role, right? Where if you are a category manager, you might have a, a you know category lead under you or a ca- associates under you. It's not like that. Product management is an IC role. You have to influence um, a lot of stakeholders. So for influencing, you should have great communication skills. Uh, you should have empathy again uh, for your users. If you cannot understand what your users are going through. Uh, sometimes a lot of product managers underestimate their users. I mean, they think that, you know, this is not something that my user can do, or they overestimate their users. I mean, they think that, you know, this is an easy task and my user would be, a user would be able to do this very easily. Right. So you, you should understand who your users are. So for that, you need to have a lot of empathy. Uh, you should have research skills. Um, you have to research the market. You have to see what's happening around. So research skill and awareness is something that is very important. You should be aware all the time. You should know what's happening around. Yes. You should know what other, other players are doing, what your competitors are doing, what your users are doing, what is the climate around in the ecosystem. Uh, right. So if you are into FinTech, you, you need to know what's happening in FinTech. If you are into EdTech, you need to know what's happening in EdTech, right? Absolutely. So you need to have a lot of domain knowledge uh, and then analytics and tech skills. Uh, I mean, this is something that uh, a lot of people think uh, is the first thing that a product manager needs to know, but uh, it's not like that, right? Our tech skill and analytical skills are hard skills. It can be acquired. You can learn these things. You can do a course and learn these things. So it's the other thing, right? The soft skills are very tough to acquire. It, it You cannot acquire it within a period of one or two months. You have to gradually learn these things and inculcate these uh, qualities into you, right? So uh, tech skills, again, there's a limit to which you can learn these things. You need not be a, a coder or you need not, you know, understand uh, coding in depth. But if you know the basics of uh, coding, uh, if you know how systems work, what are different uh, frameworks used, uh, and if you if you can uh, fetch your own data, uh, if you know a basics of SQL, uh, you know basics of uh, Excel, then it's good, right? You can uh, you can dig your own data. You need not rely on a, in this uh, data analysts and uh, other analytics people. So uh, these are uh, these are a few uh, important skills that I think a product manager needs to have. Again, this is not exhaustive. There can be other skills, but uh, if you possess these skills, uh, I, I think that you could you could be uh, fit for a product role. Great, sir. You have mentioned really a very good points. 
so now our students will know that what skill sets they should have so sir coming to the next uh, if you could uh, explain that what uh, what can take pm uh, product management as a career so some students are the freshers some are have work experience so the role which what freshers will be having and what will be the work ex right right so there are two ways by which you can get into product management uh, one um, is the uh, uh, is the direct entry into product roles and second is transitioning into uh, product roles that is a lateral entry into product roles okay i would talk about the later first uh, how you can uh, transition into a product role uh, right because that's what most people are doing nowadays right so a lot of people uh, if if you you know you can transition into product management from almost any field right uh, you could be doing uh, design for your company you can be a design guy you could be a tech guy you could be a marketing or sales guy you could be a business guy right and right. you can transition into product management given that you acquire a few basic skills uh, right the easiest way to transition into product management is to do it within your company right if you have a product team in your company and you are working in sales or marketing or maybe you are working in business and you want to be a product management uh, try shadowing a product manager you know work with a product manager on a given task and uh, see what that person is doing try to learn the skills uh, and uh, a lot of a lot of companies have uh, verticals within product management like technical product management growth product management uh, uh, and and a few other other uh, tasks so if you are a tech guy you can easily you know get into technical product management if you are into growth and business uh, marketing you can get into the growth product management vertical so i would i would say this is one way through which you can get into product management uh, other is to uh, transition within your domain for suppose you are working in uh, fintech uh, what you can do is uh, you can uh, understand the domain really well and then transition into product management because you you know the market very well if you are into ad tech you know how it works how you know how live classes and recorded classes work you know who your customers are so you can transition within the domain and join maybe uh, another ad tech company as a product manager so uh, if you are into health tech you can do the same so there are two ways either uh, you choose the skill set which is closer to the product management uh, role within your company or you can choose the domain in which you can you know in which you want to transition so there are two ways through which you can do this laterally again if you if you talk about experience uh, there is no such you know bar on experience um, if you are fresher Uh, with less than three years of experience, mostly you would be considered for an APM role, that is associate product manager uh, role. Uh, if you are three plus years uh, of experience, then for a PM role. But again, this varies from company to company. Uh, I'm not giving any blanket uh, work experience requirement here. Uh, so this is about a uh, lateral uh, entry into product management. If I talk about direct entry into product management. uh then a lot of company nowadays uh, have uh, this apm program associate product management uh, program uh, where uh, they hire uh, freshers into apm role and uh, then within uh, two to three years they transition to pm role or you can get um, um, get an entry as a product analyst and then transition into a product role either apm or pm role so uh, both ways you can enter uh, uh directly enter the product team uh, as an apm or product analyst or you can enter uh, via lateral route okay great so it was really great and sir uh, lastly i want to ask are there any specific uh, professional courses in product management uh as such there are no specific courses right now uh, but a lot of universities are now coming up with uh, Uh, diplomas pg diploma uh, or mba programs targeting product management a few a few uh, mba colleges have product management as an elective uh, a few courses are coming up on uh, product management uh, 
directly targeting product management uh, as a field of study like you do for finance or marketing uh, so uh, yeah uh, at this moment uh, there are uh, not many courses in the market a few are coming up so uh, yes it could be a good opportunity um, for a lot of uh, product aspirants to take up these courses uh, given that they do a thorough analysis of uh, who is delivering the course who are the lecturers what is the pedagogy style if you analyze all these things and if you if you feel that this this is uh, kind of you know serving uh, serving your needs uh plus uh, it's always great to have a product mentor uh, if you have someone as a mentor who is already into a uh, product role who can who can guide you on uh, what what to study as in what all skills are, uh, are need to be acquired and uh, how to get a job into product management so yeah a lot of things can be done uh, uh, apart from these you can you know uh, a lot of product aspirants uh, to their own projects right there is also a good a way uh, where you can study if you are doing a course in a college i would i would recommend uh, uh, the uh, students of product management to do a side project um, and learn the skills of product management while doing that project right so yes uh, these are a few ways to which you know you can learn this uh, learn this art correct sir correct so it was it was really great and uh, sir before ending our interview session if you could uh, th- if you could have some any message to give to the students who are interested to take the product management uh my message would be uh, you know uh, there is entry barrier into product management it is not uh, not that easy to get in uh you know uh, a lot of companies uh, give importance uh, to your profile whether you are from x college or y college if you are from x college it is easy to get in if you are from y college there would be some barrier uh, but uh, these are all uh, i would say artificial uh, barriers uh, do not get bogged down if you are trying to get into product management and if you are not able to get in because of these uh, these sort of barriers right uh, work on your skills uh, acquire uh, uh, these skills uh, if if you are not sure uh, follow someone who you know uh, you know who is doing great in product management there are a lot of people on linkedin right they post regularly follow those guys uh, learn from them what they are doing uh, learn from uh, your professors they know a lot of things but you should be hands on product management is not just just about ideation it is also about execution so acquiring skills is very important uh one uh one more uh, suggestion that i would give is you know is to uh, try and work for startups uh, the, this is something that you know uh, work works well for you guys uh if if it's not very easy to get into fan companies right if you are aspiring for a product management role unless you are from you know very good colleges uh but uh, startups also are doing great jobs they are also creating great products so uh, you know connect with people expand your network uh, you can do a couple of uh, cold messages to people over linkedin and ask for an opportunity and Uh, uh you know don't stress more on uh, ctc and package uh, if you are starting out your career uh, look at the opportunities uh, look at the learning uh, opportunities that you are going to get in a company uh, and if if you can acquire uh, the required skills if you learn what is uh, needed uh, then you can earn good money at uh, at you know after a few years so yeah uh, summarizing i would say you know uh, entry barrier is there uh, try to break that barrier uh, acquire the skills and uh, you know uh, grab good opportunities don't uh, don't wait for them to come to you you can you can reach out to people and uh, ask for help and opportunities great great thank you so much sir uh, we had a great time with you and you have shared so much of knowledge about product management and our student is now for sure so much clear that what is product management and 
what they should do so thank you for your valuable time and uh, yeah thank you thank you sir thank, thank you, you for so inviting much. me over